So this is the thing. Um, you have a, a mess. Your motor is not idling the way that you used to um, seeing it idle. And you know, where do you begin? What, what do you do to uh, try to at least get some idea what may be wrong? Well, one of the places you want to look at is your spark. See if you have spark on your plugs. The other one that you want, might want to look at is here because this is what sends the spark into your spark plug through uh, the spark plug wire. So you want to look at your spark plugs, your connections, your coils. See if they're sending a uh, spark to your um, motor. So today I'm just going to show you the tools that I use uh, if I have a misfire now. Can the misfire be caused by a fuel issue? Absolutely. Uh, but uh, I'm going to look first as um, I check to see if I first have spark. So, you know, for combustion, you need fire or you need spark, not fire, spark, and you need uh, fuel. Okay. One of them is probably having an issue, an electrical issue or a fuel issue. This is your filters. Right there, there's a filter in here. There's also a filter um, in your in your boat where is the water separator. You need to check that. I like to check usually the the spark. Is there a spark? Are the core any of the coils failing? Are the sparks fouled up or dirty? So we'll check that and um, and I'll show you the tools that I use to check all these items. So welcome to Florida for fun shine and we're going to go and check this uh, motor out. Now, in order to check things out, you need to have tools that are effective and that will work for you simple. Let me pull this one out. This is an um, inline spark tester. Um, do I recommend this? Yeah. Uh, is this my favorite? I don't know. It works for me. Uh, this is an inline spark tester, and I'll show you, um, I'll show you it in action uh, in a few minutes here. Next thing you want to have is a meter simple meter this is very inexpensive you could get fancy if you like you could spend a lot of money if you know if that's where you want to go i got a simple one it works fine for me you want to get a carb cleaner and i'll show you why or a brake cleaner some people recommend brake cleaner i like carb cleaner personally not a, an issue a wire brush Small one, big one, just something that you can rub the spark plug uh, when you pull it, should it have some carbon, carbon on it. That might be the cause of your um, misfire or that your idle on your motor is not the way it should be. And we're going to use a um, spark plug tool here or a wrench with the socket for the spark plug. So basically, this is what you will need. If your motor is um, not idling correctly, unless there's something obvious that you can look at, a uh, loose hose, um, something that you can visually see that it's out of place, then you have to dig in to the motor and find out if you have spark. Uh, like I said, it could be a fuel problem. That's why you know you want to check your fuel filters, your fuel lines, and even your fuel to see if maybe there is water uh, in the fuel um, and correct it as needed. Um, this is to test your spark, uh, your uh, electrical side of the troubleshooting in case maybe there is a problem um, that you can fix maybe just by simply uh, cleaning uh, a spark plug or whatever so um, let's go ahead and um, let's go to the motor and let's take our tools there 
and let's use them to troubleshoot and maybe even show you how to correct any problem that you may have. So your boat is not idling correctly, maybe it's sh uh, shaking too much, it's not running smooth. Uh, one of the things that I like to check first is my spark plugs and even my spark plug wires. And then I go a little bit deeper, I go into the coils to make sure that the coils are firing correctly and I'll check that with the spark of the, um, of the meter that I showed you uh, previously. So the first thing I'm gonna do here just so you'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of the um, spark plugs. It's very simple to pull out. Once you're able to loosen it up, you can loosen it up by hand. And then you wanna look at your spark plug, okay? There is um, some places on YouTube, but I'll put it up here uh, in a minute. Uh, where you can actually read, so to speak, your spark plug to kind of have an idea how it's burning. Is it burning correctly? Is it burning? Uh, does it have carbon? Is it foul? A foul plug will give you a miss immediately. Sometimes you'll see, and this will happen, in between these little probes, you get a piece of carbon. Right there in that little area, that little gap there, you get a piece of carbon and that will be uh, the cause of a misfire or poor idling. So you want to look at that. If you need to, then you can go ahead and clean it with your um, carb cleaner. And if it has carbon, you, you might want to just kind of try to remove it and then put it back okay, into the your spark plug hole. I, I would do this for all um, the spark plugs, whether you have a four cylinder or a six cylinder or a two cylinder, whatever it is that you have, clean them up if you see that they're dirty. Don't don't clean them up just for the, the sake of it. If you see they have carbon, you clean them up. And then you just tighten them back up and you can put your plug uh, uh, back in and then you can go to the next one. And you can do the ones on the starboard side and then you can uh, go into your port side and basically uh, do the same thing, remove them and clean them. Now, uh, that will be, in my opinion, one of the first steps you wanna do. You wanna check the condition of your spark plugs. Very important because if you haven't changed them in a while, um, you know, that might be a, uh, the reason why your idling is no good or it's it, like me this happened to me I had not been using the boat for a while and uh, I was just starting it up at the at the house uh, at idle and it built up carbon when I took these plugs out they were full of carbon uh, I cleaned them out and now it's running uh, smoother uh, and you know I may have to do that again if I don't get uh, my my stuff together for fishing and for boating because uh, boats boats do not perform well when they're parked at your house uh, boats will perform their best when they're being used they're being run uh, with fresh gas and and so forth so and you know going at the idle that they're supposed to go these two stroke engines are not designed to be uh, running uh, at long uh, for a long time in idle so imagine I warm it up every week every two weeks at idle they they're designed for high RPMs so they can clean themselves up they can the gas is going to be running through the injectors and so forth so uh, there is a, there is a, a way of testing for to make sure that you are getting sparks into the um, spark plugs and that's gonna be my next, what I'm gonna be showing you next right now uh, with the tester, how to test and see if there's sparks going into your uh, spark plugs. Once you clean them, uh, you wanna check and see if they are getting spark from your coils. There's other coils here. There's also a test that you can do with a meter for the coils and I'll show you that uh, in a minute. Okay, so let's check and see if we have sparks 
and at least I'll show you a couple of them just to show you how it is done. Now, keep in mind that the Yamaha HPDIs only run on four cylinders when they're at idle. That's another thing. So you have to make sure that you don't get a false uh, troubleshoot when you see that there's two cylinders not firing. Cylinder number two and cylinder number three and HPDIs will not fire at idle. They'll fire at when they're engaged, uh, when they're engaged forward or you know reversed. That's when these two cylinders, two and three, two and three, that's when they actually start firing up. So I'll show you um, how this uh, um, gauge or this tool works uh, in showing you that there is sparks going into your spark plug. But my suggestion is take the spark plugs out one at a time, clean them out. If you see them dirty, put them back in and then now check and see. Turn it on, check in for spark. Let me set it up and I'll show you. Okay, so this is the tool along with this that you are going to use to check if the coils are sending a spark or electricity to your spark plug and this you'll put in between the um, spark plug and your spark plug wire and I'll show you how that looks uh, in a second. Um, boot out and you want to put one end of the tester into the boot so this is how it should look you have the boot, you have the light, then you have the cord that goes into your spark plug that you're testing right now. You bridge it, you bridge the boot that was going into your spark plug to the light, to the cable, and then you connect it into your spark plug. And then you turn on your motor to check and see if this light lights up showing you that there's actually spark going into your spark plug in your motor. So let's do that and let's see if I'm getting spark to this cylinder. Okay, so now we saw that there's spark, and you could do that uh, with all the other um, cylinders to check and see if there is spark. Now again, I need to, um, I want to repeat myself, I don't you know, it's <laughs> uh, these uh, engines will only run on four cylinders while they're in idle so that means that you have to keep that in mind because you, if you check spark for uh, some of the two and three there's not going to be any uh, at idle in neutral okay um, so if you want to check the spark uh, on some of the uh, three and some of the two on the port side you do have to uh, put it in gear and to be perfectly honest with you, my thing with that is, if you're gonna do that, make sure you take your propeller off. I, I wouldn't mess with a boat on land with the propeller on and put it in gear. Uh, if you have to check for spark and you do need to put it in gear, then my suggestion uh, will be to go ahead and remove the uh, propeller. This is one of the coils. There's three coils, like I've shown you before, 
on the starboard side and there's three on the uh, port side. These coils can also uh, be tested uh, to see if they are working correctly. Now we did check to see that there's spark um, and we use the tool to check for spark but if you want to go a little deeper you want to check the coils you have this meter which I showed you which you can check the coil you want to put it in the ohm uh, setting right there let's see if it's right, right there okay and you can check for resistance on your coils to verify that they are working uh, correctly okay for this part of the video I'm going to show you how to quickly test uh, a coil Okay, you have your meter here. This meter is um, checks for ohms. You have to put it in the ohm section right here. Okay. This uh, coil has two connections right in there, two plugs. In here is where you want to put the probes inside this so I should be getting a reading between 2.3 2.3 and up and I'm getting a 2.6 on these and the other coils that I tested I get a basically the same range 2.3 to 2.6 this shows me that this coil in that particular section there is working perfect and this is what you need to do check your specs okay then the other test is you put one probe inside the boot and the other probe inside one of the connections six sixteen that shows a good coil for my my specs you need to check yours so remember two probes first in the connection there's two little legs there put your probes in those two little legs and you should get a reading 2.3 or up check your specs I repeat that again and then when you do it from the boot you put it in the boot and then the other probe in one of the connections of the coil you should be around 16 15.8416 so that works for me so that's very simple to check your coils uh, to make sure that they're working uh, correctly and that's it very simple Well, that does it for this video and I thank you for hanging in there with me we do have a lot of variety in this channel with videos of uh, some fishing some boating so a little bit of RV repairs and we just enjoy doing it for you all and we're having a good time at the same time so uh, if you would subscribe to my channel that will really uh, be nice and uh, really would appreciate it so until next video hope you all are blessed uh, have a great day okay stay safe